Got it. Okay, Martha, the president now still is the president. The House, though, will be controlled by Republicans. And the Senate controlled by Democrats. Charles Krauthammer late last night saying he does not expect there to be much give on either side. He won by going very small, very negative. And we are left as a country exactly where we started, but a little bit worse off. What will he do? I think he's got, he will go back to who he is. People have said he should be a Clinton and compromise, have a successful second term. But he is not instinctively a moderate. I think he is a man of the left, and he will try to push his agenda through with what he thinks is a mandate. He is not instinctively a moderate. Ed Rollins managed Ronald Reagan's re-election campaign of 1984. He's worked on so many campaigns since. Fox News contributor, good morning to you after Thank a you. very late night tonight. You say that typically in politics, you go through cycles. And you've seen a few yourself. I've seen a few myself. So how do we understand this now in that well, we series of cycles? We, we have to relook at, at where the electorate is today. And obviously, uh, we lost the battleground states were party, Republican Party states. We've lost them two cycles in a row. So we have to figure out the basic training in any campaign is how do you get 50 percent plus one. We didn't know how to do that yesterday. So we have to start thinking in terms of Latino voters, young Cuban-American voters in Florida and elsewhere, and young women voters. Uh, and we have to reach out to them. We have to have a plan for the future. The critical thing, and in, in, in Charles is a very interesting piece, 28 years ago yesterday, Ronald Reagan won an extraordinary landslide, 49 states, more electoral votes than anybody in history. Tip O'Neill said the very same thing. He does not have a mandate. I still control the Congress. Mm. Reagan had an extraordinary second term. Uh, the House was still controlled by Democrats. The Senate was still controlled by a, a vote or two, a Republican majority. But he had the office of the presidency and could do a lot with it. Uh, because of his win. In because the manner he, that he won, and, but equally in a landslide across and, but the but country. But equally as important, he had the office, and, and, and George W. Bush won a second term with a very narrow victory. Holding the office entitles you to basically do the all the duties of the, of the, of the president, commander-in-chief of the military, what have you, and you're very much a part and a player. Mm. So whether he won by 1% or 10% or whatever, he has the job, and he now can move forward. Hispanics favored him by 40 percentage points, African Americans by 80 percentage points. That's... Uh, uh, Asians by 50 points. Uh, that's to your point about expanding the base and going after voters that you can find. Uh, explain this to me. 7.9 percent unemployment. That's the figure we're given from Washington. That defies economic and political gravity. It does. I, I think what's happened is a, there's a numbness, and I think I think unfortunately, what what Mr. Romney, who I think carried the carried the mantle of our party very bravely and courageously, and I'm not second guessing anything he or his team did, but I think what didn't happen is he didn't explain what economics is. He almost had to be the teacher telling us about econ 101. Here's how America can work. You have a, a governments can create jobs or basically private sector can but create jobs. But you could jobs. argue he tried to do that, but he, are, you success, uh, are you suggesting he did not do that successfully? He, did not, he obviously didn't do it successfully. He didn't, he didn't convince the majority of people in the country that that, that, that was the message. And, and I think what he did is I think through the first debate he reached being an acceptable alternative, which closed the polls up. He did not basically reach the, the level of where he was not just an acceptable alternative. He was what people wanted. Mm. And it may be a very narrow victory for the president, but it's still a victory. Let me get to two more things here. Reading from the Wall Street Journal today, significant shares of Americans continue to think things will not be better for their children than they are for today's adults. An erosion in traditional American optimism. Well, that's a terrible thing because this country has lived on optimism and, and, and the president himself is a great story of optimism. And, you know, a, a young man who came to this country or was born in this country in Hawaii and came to this mainland of the country and basically had great success. Uh, Mitt Romney was a man who had great success. There's a lot of stories every day that happen, but you've got to have that dream for your children. And every generation has to be able to move forward. And, and that's unless we get that optimism back, uh, we got a long, hard. I tell you, uh, just at, at, in the micro sense, in the macro sense now. After being in Ohio twice in the last eight days, what was clear to me is that after 2008 victory there for President Obama, he didn't close up shop. No, no, they... He paid staffers. I mean, not a lot of staffers, but they kept field operations there. And it was, it was disconcerting the Republicans in that state. They did not feel that they were at 100 percent until about mid-September. Well, now, is the story to be told about Obama's victory here, the ground game, 
getting out the vote, something that he learned in the south side of Chicago well, I, 20 I, years ago? I think they, they executed the best campaign two year, four years ago when they won with the ground game. They wrote books about it. Uh, they said they were coming right back at you again. It's like the old Green Bay Packers of Vince Lombardi. I'm going to run off tackle. And they said, oh, I'm going to run off that tackle until somebody stops me. And they never did stop me. We won a couple of Super Bowls. Yeah. And my sense is they, we knew where they were coming, and they ran right over us. Uh, as long as you're getting first downs, you keep the football. Absolutely. They did. Thank yeah. you, Ed. My pleasure.